we get taught in the West that all people are created equal, but until you're in a situation like that, and it's and you're come face to face with it, um, you know it, it, it's a hard truth. And I think at one point you do have to decide: Are we one people, or is it us versus them? Maybe our family members are very nervous, visitors from another tribe, or even foreigners. It doesn't matter. Anyone who is in the in the hearing distance is welcome. Maybe my mother would have roasted a sorghum and peanuts. On the on the fire around around this into the into the delicious into the delicious base, or she may have cooked curd, a sorghum mash boiled with the water and milk, and cut it into of the vegetables and meats. We all share meals. After that beautiful childhood. living with my sisters and my brothers in a peaceful life. Until one night, my village was attacked. Strange people came to the village setting fires in every hut, where everybody is still inside the hut. That where my mom and my dad and my brothers, we all start running in different direction. And I lost my dad. It's a long story, just to cut it short. And then I was captured by one of the Mujahideen. And I was sold into slavery. And he took me to a place called Khartoum. But most importantly is that it really is a story, it, it, the, the way I view it. And the only way I could really survive coming back from that was to view it as a story of hope and faith. Um, that comes through crystal clear when you read Mendy's story. She, the only way that she survived that, because she had faith. Um, you know, she's a Muslim, but I'm a Christian. You can be any de denomination, any kind of faith you want, but faith is what brought her through that, and, 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 and a hope that one day she, she um, things would get better, and that she would be free. I know it. Show me your tongue. Do look. The little monkey still got her tongue out. <laughs> Here in this house, I am a slave. Maybe you should stop looking now. Six years is long enough. Poor Mustache will be safe. I know. You don't know. Nobody knows. I'm going to find her. I'm going to find her. So I think that one of the things is, is now is always uh, I feel education is, 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 is kind of kind of a weapon. No one can strip it away. No matter what people do for you, they will never take your education away from you. They cannot really take a gain in your mind and strip what you had it up here. But they can physically abuse you and they can do anything they want, but they will never take your education away from you. You get aware of what's going on around you. I think education is for me is, is, is essential in this life. Everybody has a right to. How many did here? However, because there's oil right in Mendy's region, and it's actually providing revenue to the north, they really wanted that territory, and they've kept it. So there is recent conflict there, so it's very difficult to, to return. And we, and, and we had difficulty going back. But one minor success we've had very recently is um, um, Mendy's uh, community, they, they reached out to us and said, okay, we're now ready to do a project. We want to build two fresh water wells. Um, so now is the time. And we, you know, we, we couldn't actually go there ourselves due to security. But what we've done is we've set the cash and they've got the two pumps, Mendy, and they're, they're in route. So they're not actually in Mendy's village yet. We have, to wait, we have to wait for the opportunity time where we can actually get the pumps down to our village is what we're trying to do.